Hey guys, it's Chris from chrisadwell.com and I'm doing a pretty much a walkthrough of what my entire process is on um, editing, at least after um, after Lightroom. Let me show you the before, after, before, after. Huge difference, obviously. And um, I initially overexpose it, unfortunately, but oh well. So I saved it a little bit. So let's go back into Photoshop. Let's do some further editing in here. Let's see. What I should do is probably bring back the highlights in the background. Let's see right here. I might actually bring the blues back in too on that. It'll make it more a little interesting, a little pop. I'm gonna first bring back the highlights a little bit. I'm not gonna bring it back on, on the subject too much, but on the background. Just put that there. Alright, clear that mask. Alright, is there anything? No. Alright, a little more emphasis on the background, not too much. But it makes it more interesting, it actually separates the subject from, from everything else. The background's a little too dark for me, honestly. I don't mind the shadows though, as you see. Um, you might not be able to see in, um, on this video, but you see some detail in there. Here, what else can we bring back? Maybe that's hmm. bring back the blues. It's way too much. Before, after, before, after. It's extremely, extremely subtle. Let me zoom in onto this area here. It's not enough. Let's bring back more. better all right let's bring back some highlights it's a tiny tiny bit on the subject I'll show this right here So much better. All 
All right, time for some darks. Get the darkness and shadows in there. Let's see here. Should be good. All right. Definitely here. I try my style. I like to try to um, bring out the eyebrows most of the time. That's much better. I just had to switch around my mic. Now I could talk towards it a little bit better now. All right. Now, right now, I'm doing is I'm doing is bringing back. The definition and the eyebrows. Let me a little too much right there. And let me lower that. There you go. Much better. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if that's. Nope. I don't want that. It sometimes you just gotta play with it. Let's see how it looks. I, I did not like that. See that? That's fine. Wait a minute. See, sometimes you're not too sure. Sometimes you are. So you gotta play sometimes. Let me actually put this like halfway. That. There we go. So some separation I'm doing right here. It's a little too much there. There we go. Yep, that's what I want. I apologize for that sound. Let me actually turn off my speakers. We don't need those. All right. Uh, I also put a little bit of darkness here. Did I put it in there? No, I did not. That's too much. All right, let's see. All right. Let's put some definition in here. All right, yeah, I like to like turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Just see the difference. Cover this up as best as I can. Oops, what am I doing? There we go. Now I'm just gonna get the clone stamp and fill in some areas here. That's, I'm losing way too much detail actually with the clone set. Just get the healing brush. There we go. Let's see here. Damn floral is not that good. Mike is too close. Yeah, it's too close. The mic is way too close. There you go. Let's see. Is that better? I'm not sure. It's 
a little better. Not liking it. Wait, it's not that bad from far away though. Sometimes, yeah, um, as you can see, Chrono Semp is very tedious work. All these strains out. All right, this is a little more difficult here. Damn it. Grab some tiny things here before I do actual skin retouching. I don't think I'm going to do too much, honestly. Yeah, I'm not going to use. Let's see. That's not too bad. Using the. I'm using the healing brush with content to wear right now. Be very, very careful though when you do use that. Sometimes you don't get what you're looking for. Yeah. This mic sounds so muffled. Might as well do this. Wonder if anyone's watching the, the live stream. Let's see. Hello out there. Nobody's watching. Of course. Uh, looks like these little tiny parts is going to require precision healing brush. 
I'm not gonna use the content that we're in this area just because it's way too many too many different things to just grab from it won't be as accurate as it sh I would like right, let's go back to content aware content aware Sure, if I should use frequency frequency separation on this, honestly, because the face is not really that zoomed in to really notice it, honestly. I don't think is that these colors are so blotchy. They can't. I mean, um, I think frequency separation might be worth doing here. Strongly considering uh, frequency separation right now. Get this filled in. See that before and after. too close to me. There you go. Let's get fix this a little bit. Oh, don't want that. Much better. Yep. Save that before I lose that. All right. Save it, yeah. Save it. Let's see if we get some healing brush action on it. I don't like the way it looks. It's too soft. I might, this is why I don't like healing brush. I mean, um, the. Chrome sap that much. Rarely ever use a chrome sap my in my edits. Yeah, gotta bring some. Gotta bring that um, frequency rate. F 
gonna bring that fre frequency separation. Yeah, I gotta bring it. It's way the skin is way too blotchy. That's when you look up really, really close. Yeah, I can't fix it. It's all take too long to fix it like this. Let's see the before and after here. Let's go. Let's grab some more healing before I do the frequency. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, healing brush doesn't really give good results. There, gotta fix it sometimes. These lines in here aren't good. Done it down there. It's going back just in case. Make sure it here it looks okay. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's that's intentional. I don't mind it. Do not mind the messy hair style for this shoot. I actually liked it. Maybe it worked well with uh, the fall fashion that I was going for. Obviously, if you look at before and after, it's very, very subtle from far away. If you look closer, before and after, a little more. Noticeable changes. Let's see what else can we do here before we do frequency. Let's um let's save it first before I end up crashing it. I want to do some liquid fly on the hair. Now, luckily, around the hair it's all dark, so I don't have to worry about anything around it and fixing whatever I'm pushing. All right. Well, don't worry about that stupid color there. It's good. I don't want to push it too much in. Just, just a little tiny hairs. That's it. I don't want to be too noticeable. It's a lot better. Let's get this more down. All right. Zoom. So, unfortunately, my recording did stop um, while I was doing um, Liquid Fly. So, this is the after. Hopefully it did capture my recording while I was doing it. And let's see here. Before. Oh, but this is after. Before, after. Now, only, obviously, um, this is way before I ever did that in Healing Brush, but I pushed it in a little bit. That's what I did. You can see right here. Pushed it in. Now, luckily, as I mentioned, I hopefully it was recorded. Um, I mentioned that the background is all black. At least so on these areas right here. So I got really lucky. I didn't have to worry about, you know, fixing, you know, what I pushed in, basically. 
Now, obviously, if you zoom all the way in, you could probably notice it. And a little bit right there. And I'm super paranoid, so I might just end up doing something there. It's not really super noticeable, honestly. Save that. All right. All right. Let's see this. Let's see. And what we're gonna do is frequent I can't pronounce them. I do apologize. Some people call it just FS. It's uh frequency separation. It's gonna play that action. Let's see, that should be fine. Now if you do want to know how to do frequency separation at least or run the action, I would recommend um looking up Flurn. I did another YouTube channel on PH Learn, and th that is what how I how how I learned frequency separation entirely from them, and I like their style more than anything. Let's change that to my what is it called lasso two, and basically just circle that and go to my command. Too much. Let's see. Should be good. Let me fix this area here. Too much. Looks like finally. Now, what the? All right. Now, just my file did exceed my one gig limit, unfortunately, for that screen flow. So now we're back. Starting, it's continuing our frequency separation. Let's clean this up right here. Good. Just grabbing some parts that I think is a little blotchy. So let's recap. All right, the recap is what I did is uh, let's go all the way from the bottom. All right, this is after Lightroom, and I decided, you know, let's punch up some highlights. That's more highlights, and it's in the background. And I didn't touch the subject. And I didn't want that separate. And now I wanted more blues from that um, different type of light, basically, in the background, as you see there. I added a little more saturation to that. And now I wanted to do touch up some more highlights on the subject itself. Just a tad bit, not too much. Very specific areas, as you can see. In the hair, in the chest, shoulder, filled in some shadows I didn't like. It's all subjective. And here is the darks, on, at least on the subject. Very, very minimal, mostly in the, in the hair. Just add some definition. And did frequency sep No, no, no. I didn't do frequency separation yet. But this layer right here, I did. I fixed uh, the hair a little bit with um, healing brush mostly, and then um, liquidify. Just push it in. Just push it all the way in. And I got lucky because it was mostly black around the hair, so that was fine. 
and then I went to frequency separation. You won't probably notice it here, but once you zoom in, you'll definitely notice it. There. That's before. Oh wait, this is before. This is after. And I went to do more dodge and burn, fill in some shadows, made more definition in the the eyebrow. Made more definition around the, the chin. And yeah, a little bit selective dodge and burn. It seems like it looks like it's done. To me, it, at least, it looks like it's done. Let's go see before and after. Before, after. Before, after. Yeah, definitely. Definitely do like the after. Looks like a lot of work was done on it. A lot more work than I expected. Definitely a lot better with the Photoshop edit than without it. And it's after, it's before. And before, after. All right. Any questions, just put it in the comments below. And check out more videos like this. Um, I'll I'll call these um, editing sessions or you know, progression videos basically of um, before and after, and um, giving you some insight of how and what I do on my editing sessions. Save this little sucker, and we're all set for this photo to be released.